you uh so sorry if i'm kind of slow with comments and stuff <clears throat> it's just uh, i've got like a conference at my university coming up tomorrow um and then that's preparation for a real conference that i'm going to in germany and at the same time i'm trying to write up my thesis so fuck my life it's all pretty rough um uh, but yeah just you know wanted to wanted to get in on the wiener action wanted to get me some wiener you know uh, how could you resist making some limp wiener jokes when the opportunity arises although I'm pretty sure any possible combination of wiener with uh, any other pun has already been made <laughs> somewhere in the world I mean everyone's been at it for like a couple like a week more than a week now so yeah it's all out there and I don't know some people you know some people think that it's all just oh why are we still talking about that wiener uh, time to move on you know let the wiener send pictures of his underpants wiener around the world it's all right and in fact I agree with that um, he, he's a super liberal super left-wing guy and this is from my perspective I mean I love all of his policies I think he was right on not all but almost all um, I think he was right on about almost everything um, and I kind of follow American politics a bit although I'm not American and yeah he's certainly one of my kind of favorites in the in the government um, so I I like the guy and because he's such a big liberal I think liberals are far less likely to care about your wiener related you know accidents than would conservatives so if he just come out said my wiener kinda you know overrode my brain for a little bit there and I sent it out you know I ended up sending out a couple of questionable images fine right um, and as far as we know he hasn't even had his wiener in anyone inappropriate right uh, not to mention as far as I know family values and all that kind of stuff wasn't his platform to start with so I really think if he'd done the courageous thing come out and said yep that that under that, you know, under those underpants, that was wiener's wiener, and you know, let's move on from there. I'm sorry, you know, it it does suck for his wife. I have to say, you know, he's an ass. It's not nice, um, but I think he could have gotten over it. The, the 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 mistake he made, and I think it's it's pretty much an unforgivable mistake at this stage. Is in the post-Clinton era, when we had a president who made a little boo-boo that was pretty embarrassing, but let's, you know, one little blow job. It was in the Oval Office, that's kind of, you know, <laughs> a bit weird, but one little blow job, eh. But then he had to lie about it, and that's why it just didn't go away. Yet every politician keeps doing the same thing. Every politician that gets caught in one of these, and I get it for the Republicans, for the conservatives, because when they get caught out with all their family value stuff, or when, you know, it's one of the <sighs> closeted gay ones again, then obviously they're voters that would, you know, be very much against homosexuality or any kind of marital impropriety they're probably gonna be quite upset at that um, so I get why conservative politicians wouldn't own up to it I don't really get why Democrats especially super lib Democrats don't fess up the problem is now he's been on television a week lying lying about it 
and when I see his face now, what I remember is those press conferences he did where he was lying into the camera. He lied pretty shamelessly for about a week. That's something that I think no side of politics is very comfortable with just forgiving. I know I'm not. I mean, I, I'm not American. I'm not voting for the guy. I'm outside the process. But no, I think <sighs> there is such a thing as integrity. You know, it's a valuable thing. It's a very rare commodity in politics. But that's why it's especially important to try pretty hard to at least show that you have some measure of it. And Wiener was a guy that was trying to sh trying to look like he had a lot of it and I was I was buying it and I still kind of buy it. I still kind of buy it in part of his life, but obviously I can't buy it from him as a person altogether. I could have bought it if it had been like he said, oh, I just panicked. Okay, you just panicked. You bullshitted a lie for a day. And then you were like, no, wait. Uh, what am I doing? This is a lie. And then you come out. No, you can't do it for a week and then go, oh, well, now that s six other women are involved and I know it's going to get out, now I'm going to come out. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously. So... Wiener has to go. Give Wiener the chop. Any issue that Wiener, you know, as a progressive politician who has my views, if he's the one that's going to herald them, he's going to be the one that carries them forward, then they're going to have the smell of Wiener all over them. Not Fox News and not just Fox News. A lot of other news outlets are going to wiener all of those issues. They're going to spend more time talking about the, the fact that he's wiener than about the issue. So I think in the end, I, I just don't know if he can still be useful in terms of doing his job. Um... And on a personal level, you know, it is disappointing. It's just disappointing because where is that first guy? Th that first guy that, you know, is, puts himself out there as principled, who will actually be principled enough to have principles when things get hard. And I guess it's asking a lot from people that their livelihood is, their profession is, being popular, <laughs> you know, which is my problem with the entire process, but it would be nice to, you know, at least find one. I, If Bernie Sanders gets caught with his pants down and his wiener out, if he does the same kind of thing, I will go <sighs> into seclusion and cry a lot. Um, final note, if your name is Wiener and you go into politics or any other showbiz kind of setting don't get caught doing something sexual don't freaking do it okay if change your name okay if you know that you're a horn dog change your name please 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 don't go into politics as Wiener and do something sexual, okay? And this is a public service announcement. Yes, the wiener jokes. I am participating. I am enjoying all of the wiener out there right now. I'm enjoying being able to say wiener every second sentence. Wiener is fun. I love wiener. But it won't be so fun anymore, you know? in a month or two and this is gonna be with us for a long time we're gonna get fed up with it wiener which used to be a great happy kinda oh wiener it's gonna lose all of its sheen it's just gonna become one of those boring old words wiener gate will be with us for a long time 
and hearing all of those whatever CNN and Fox and whatever other news channels anchors say it in their dry little mm, wiener voices it's gonna take all of the fun out of wiener and really I think the world needed wiener it's a sad day for all of us I'll see you guys all later